before this opportunity came along I was a single mum to two beautiful girls but I also had two traditional businesses so I was consistently well, I felt like I was pushing them aside to grow my other businesses and that wasn't the type of parent that I wanted to be. So before this opportunity came about, I was a single mum. I was in the worst place of my life and I was suicidal, depressed, broke and looking for something. You know, I'd put my feelers out there to the universe and I needed something. I knew there was more for me. So before this opportunity just appeared out of nowhere into my life, I was a high school teacher. Um, I've got three grown up children who live a long way away from where I do right now and um, I was, didn't even think that there was another thing that I could look at doing outside teaching. I had another eight years to go before I was going to retire into my superannuation which I thought was going to be enough money to live the rest of my retirement life on and um, in hindsight that, that actually wasn't really the case. So I just was going to yeah, teach for the next eight years, um, pull up stumps and then see what was next. Before this opportunity came along, I was working my butt off for very little reward. I had a really big hearted desire that I wanted to help people with their health, but what I found was in order to create the income that I really wanted for my life, I had to trade time for dollars. And I've got two young kids, so for me that just wasn't really something I was excited to do. I wanted to be able to spend a lot of time with them, but still have the lifestyle that allowed me to do the things that I really wanted to do and live in accordance with my values. I think I was really skeptical about what other people would think of me. I think, if I'm honest, that was what kept me on the fence for so long. But what I discovered was that that kind of thinking had put me in a hole to begin with. That's why I was looking for an opportunity. I was constantly worried about what other people thought and I just realised if I was going to do what was best for me and my family, I just needed to go for it. The biggest thing that held me back in the beginning was uh, low self-belief you know I didn't didn't know if I could do this I didn't know if it was possible I was skeptical I, you know I didn't know if what what we were doing was actually going to work the biggest thing that held me back in the beginning was probably the belief of what this could actually be it was only ever going to be a hobby on the side to be able to afford to go out for dinner uh, to be able to go away for holidays because at the time my partner Greg had just been made redundant for the second time in three years which is probably why I was looking for something when I actually didn't realise that I was. I was a total sceptic of network marketing. Um, I was worried that I would be judged about it. I thought that, you know, perhaps I would lose friends or you know, I wouldn't make any money or I would lose a lot of money, but obviously all of that stuff didn't happen. I think the biggest thing for me was that everybody's gonna have an opinion. <laughs> everybody's gonna say something. I just have to choose what I wanna do and what I feel comfortable with for my lifestyle. The truth that I've learned since starting is that I'm capable of so much more. I was put on this world to do exactly what I'm doing in this moment and I'm, I'm killing it, you know. I've found my family, I've found my passion, I've found my truth, I've found myself, you know, and I can be the best mother, the best person, the best sister, the best daughter, the best friend, the best partner, all because of this business. Oh my goodness, what a gift that I actually had in my hands. I had no idea of what this opportunity could do, what it could be for us, how it could change our life. Um, so it was the realisation of what I actually had and from that point on, I just felt it my obligation to share it with all the people that I cared about and the people that came into my life from then on. So what I learned to be the truth once I started was that this is actually just a way that you can create an income through helping other people by obviously up-leveling their health, but also by helping them to create the lifestyle that they really want. Oh, this opportunity has made such an impact on my life. Um, you know, I'm almost four years in now and I had my two previous children in traditional work. I've just recently had a baby in the network marketing industry and the security, the community, the income has just impacted things 
tenfold, like it's really hard to even put into words. Having a residual income come in when you're on maternity leave is just so amazing. I wish more women knew about it because I remember that fear of having to return back to work and the fear of constantly not having enough money on one income. So this is just like chalk and cheese. This opportunity has made the biggest impact in my life. It has completely changed me as a person. If you knew me three years ago to now, you, you wouldn't even know that it was the same person. I have grown more than words can ever tell. I, this, this opportunity has impacted my life in so many different ways that I can't actually do justice to them all, so I'll try and you know talk about a few of them. So at the same time this opportunity came along, my dad had just passed away and it was such an epiphany to me because he was only 76 and what I realised was that we all have such a limited time and I'd never really thought about that before and it's about what we do with the time that we have that is so important. So what it's done for us is to actually buy time when I didn't think that was a thing that you could do. So um, life now for us means that we can be there for our family and it's just so flexible. So my parents live down in Tasmania, Greg's live up in northern Queensland and when they need us, and that's happened quite a few times over the last 12 to 18 months that they've needed us to be there, we can just jump on a plane without having to ask for time off, without having to ask permission for anyone. Um, our kids are also very spread out and when there's special moments in their lives we can be there for them as well. Um, and just having that extra, extra income coming in, you know, my daughter has just been over in South America and I was able to get her home for a special occasion for us as well, which is, yeah, just, just so, so many things look different in our life now. You know, we've bought time together as well. Greg's a bit of a numbers guy and he's worked out, he's bought us 16,000 extra hours together. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it really is, for me, it's a really big time thing. So the way that this has impacted my life is now I actually get to work because I love it. I get to spend so much time with my children. I'm there for every single moment that I need to be there for. One of my top values in life is my kids and the fact that I can be present with them and not worry that I have to go to a job or get on a call and have them kind of be put to the side for that, that just makes my life. Oh, I think now that I've succeeded in the ways that I wanted to exceed and have got a really good lifestyle for my family, I'm more excited about helping others. I love getting to see them from where I was at the start in their circumstances where things are less than ideal and being able to show them the tools and, and hold their hand and cheerlead while they build the strength and the confidence to create the life of their dreams too. What excites me about the future is that, oh gosh, you know, it's there's so much more. I, I've achieved so much in three years, but I know that there's so much more left to get. I know that there's so much more that I can grow and I know that it's really early days for us. Well, wow. what excites me about the future is knowing how many other people we can impact together with this opportunity to help them create the same as what we've created for ourselves. So that is time to live their very best life on their own terms. And another thing about this is that it's such a legacy business and the work that I do right now means it's going to set my own children and my grandchildren and great-grandchildren up for the rest of their lives because you know, the work that I do now can be passed on to them. What excites me about the future is, to be honest, the lives that get to get changed from here. So now I've got everything I need to live a life that aligns with my values, but now I get to help other people to do that. And that's so much more rewarding than when you do it for yourself. Um, I would tell someone who's looking at this opportunity not to think about it too long and just do it. <laughs> I think that if we think about it too long, that's when the doubts and the fears come in. But realistically, if you want to change, you have to change. What I would tell someone who is looking at this opportunity is to go for it. Give it a go. You know, you've got absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. And it's just, it's the best opportunity, the best community, and it will change your life. Other people who are looking into this, I would say, Feel the fear and feel the uncertainty, but just go out and do it. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And the person that you become along this journey and the changes that you can create in your own life and the people around you are just 
immense and you have no understanding before you actually get into this opportunity what that impact can absolutely be. So for anyone looking into this, I would tell them to just take the leap. There's zero risk, there's so much reward if you're willing to put the work in and there is so much magic that comes from this business.